Ajari ji, uh, if you look at dogs, uh, no matter how much suffering they have faced, if they are accepted by a family, then in a couple of days, they are all happy and all moving around uh, as if nothing bad ever happened to them. So, is the spiritual process actually about reducing your suffering to a level where they fade into oblivion or increasing the amount of love and joy to such abundance that the suffering relatively is of no consequence at all? Man is special. Dogs and cats and pigeons are all lovely. Even alligators and pythons are. But man cannot be compared to dogs when it comes to the urge to be liberated. Dogs love families because man has domesticated dogs since a very very long while now. The domestication has seeped down into the DNA of dogs. Man's company provides them with the assurance of food. And that's what gives them happiness. There is no spiritual angle or dimension to that. A lion would not love man's company. Except if he is hungry. Dogs love to play with you and cuddle with you and sleep with you and all those things. Even wolves don't love that, though wolves and dogs are genetically quite the same. Hmm? So all these things that you find in animals are merely an expression of Prakriti, physical nature. They have nothing to do with the great and deep desire to be liberated from the cycle of suffering and birth and death. Hmm? Yes, dogs love you, but if you donate them to some other person and the other person starts feeding them regularly, within a month or two, the dog starts belonging fully to the new master as well. It's about food, not freedom. When you talk about the desire for truth, uh, so there is this thirst, there is this longing, but it's like uh, if I give an example of a car, so one, one foot is on the accelerator and the other one is on the brake also. So how to intensify this longing? Because so that brake, uh, it's fully on, like it's not part-time journey. Either decide for yourself that you do not need to break the process or get a co-passenger who would slap you every time you jam the brakes. There is no other way possible. Do it on your own or get somebody to help you, advise you, maybe even supervise you. Supervision is never a very advisable thing, you see. But what to do if you are unable to make it on your own? Put a reminder on the windshield. Don't break. Things are simple. There are no magical solutions. Huh? If you are the one who is pressing at both the accelerator and the brake, what solution can be offered to you? Very soon the car itself would burn out. Time is limited. So is fuel.
if you are of the kind that engages in such contradictory acts accelerating and breaking together then please be advised that no method is going to help you because even the application of method depends on your willingness and commitment and honesty i would not offer false hope acharya ji is there attraction and attachment that doesn't derive from body identification yes there is yes there is but in general you should assume that there is not in general you should try to negate it deny it ruthlessly question it and then even if it and then if it survives and passes all the tests only then must you accept it hmm? the ego wants to claim all the high and good things for itself so even if it is going for somebody's body it would want to say no it is not physical attraction it is metaphysical love most of the lovers if you go to them and tell them point blank that what you are experiencing is merely physical attraction they feel offended they say no it is something to do with the soul my spirit is in love with her spirit it is not merely bodily i don't even want to touch her i just want to be with her it's just the ego trying to get a good name for itself it's just lust trying to wear saintly clothes hmm? and that happens most of the times so you should be very very careful against it hmm? but if you are asking whether in principle it is possible to be attracted in a non bodily way yes it is possible but extremely extremely rare and since it is extremely extremely rare i said you must ruthlessly question it hmm? 